Today we'll be discussing the Sunday night football matchup between the 2-0 Green Bay Packers and the 1-1 New Orleans Saints. Two veteran quarterbacks going at it, Aaron Rodgers versus Drew Brees. Veteran Super Bowl winning head coach Sean Payton taking on young upstart Matt LaFleur. Should be a great game. This first play is a key third down conversion by the Green Bay Packers driving ball on their own 39-yard line in the first quarter after the Lions drove down and took the lead 7-0. What we got going here is the Packers are going to line up in a 3 by one set. They're going to motion the outside receiver down into a bunch alignment. The Lions are going to play what we call two-man. The underneath, receive, underneath defenders will match up man-to-man -man with the receiver. So here we go. <clears throat> Press man over here. They're going to play the bunch this way. They're going to have one guy on the point, and this defender is going to be on the inside receiver. This corner is going to be on the outside receiver. The safeties are going to play uh, two high safeties. The weak safety is going to play over the top of the X. The strong safety is going to work over the top of the three receiver side. What you have to do is there's a lot of ways to attack man coverage. What the Packers are doing here is they're trying to create a rub route. So they're going to take the two inside receivers and push them vertically up the field and end up running in breaking routes down the field. They're going to take this outside receiver, going to push him up and he's going to run right off their, their butts, create a pick with this corner covering him and there should be a lot of open space right here for him to catch and run the ball. There's the snap. And right there, this receiver, the outside receiver is coming underneath. The man defending him, the corner, gets caught up in the traffic of these two receivers release. Springs him free, catches the ball, turns up field. Nice catch, completion, nice conversion. This is just a nice play concept by the Detroit Lions taking advantage of the Packers' coverage. Second and 10, ball in the 49. Lions are leading 7-3 to three in the first quarter. What the Packers are going to run, they're going to run quarter, quarter, half. They're going to play cover two at the top of the screen. They're going to play quarters press at the bottom of the screen. And the interior defenders are pretty much going to match up the man they're lined up on. So it's sort of a mannish type zone on the back end type coverage. And what the Lions do is it's a three-by-one set. They send the two outside receivers vertical. They send the tight end up, and he's going to run an outbreaking route. This middle linebacker, who, who basically is matched up with him in a zonus manish type concept, he's going to, going to run with him to the out, which is going to open up this interior part of the field. This outside linebacker who's trying to show that he's rushing, he's going to peel off and cover this running back in man-to-man -man coverage. The back does a nice job of releasing up the field, gives a hard move to the outside, and then breaks inside to the voided area that the outbreak of the tight end took this linebacker from. It's a nice play concept. It's a nice execution. We'll watch it play itself out. There's the release. Again, hard move, crossing the face. There's the linebacker going with the tight end. There's a nice opening right there in the middle of the field. Quarterback puts it on him, catch, turn up field, nice execution, nice play. This is just another very good play concept by the Lions versus the Packers defense. The Packers like to play sort of a matchup, mannish type coverage on the back end. It's second and nine ball on the plus 34. Lions are driving, and they line up in a bunch formation at the top of the screen. And all they do is they hand the ball underneath to Adrian Peterson, who gets outside down the sideline for a big gain. We'll watch the back end to dissect what was going on in that play. And there's the, there's the bunch alignment to the right side. And what they're doing is they're taking advantage of the fact that the Packers like to play man coverage. There's a receiver out here. He's off the screen. Here's the receiver in the bunch. This is a tight end. They all have defenders who are covering them man-to-man. -man. So what, what the Lions do is they send the two outside receivers on crossing routes, and that's going to drag their coverage responsibility with them. They take this tight end, and they run him underneath 
the whole offensive line to take his safety coverage responsibility with him. And then all they do is they run an outside play. If they can get this man hooked, which they do, and get the ball outside the edge, it should be a big play. Snap of the ball. See, the, this is a receiver. He's running this way. Here's another receiver running this way. Here's the tight end running away from the play. And you got all these defenders in man-to-man -man coverage running with their coverage responsibility, and there's no one left here to force the run to the strong side. The end gets hooked by the offensive tackle. Peterson just takes the ball. The edge is secure. There's no one out there, takes it down the sideline, makes the guy miss, almost gets into the end zone. Nice play concept. All right, here we go. Packers are down 14-3 to in the start of the second quarter. Uh, it's second and five, ball in the minus 39. Uh, this is just a nice play concept. What do you do when teams are playing a lot of man coverage against you? What do you do? Well, what they're doing is they're going to an empty formation here. Okay, you got man coverage across the board. There's three ways to defeat man coverage. You create picks and rubs, you run double moves, or you get crossing routes going. And, the, and what the Packers are doing right now is they're getting crossing routes going. Again, man coverage across the board. They're going to bring the two receivers. It's a three-by-two set. They're going to bring the two receivers from the top of the screen. They're going to bring them across the field. They're going to take this number three receiver inside of the bottom of the screen and send him more in a deep over, and they're going to take the number two receiver who's in a stack alignment with the number three receiver and run him right off his butt, create the pick there, and then also create picks with these crossers coming from the top of the screen. It should spring the receiver loose, the number two receiver loose for a nice catch and gain. There, there's the pick right there. Creating opening for the running back who's playing the number two receiver. And again, if that didn't work, you got the tight end, you got the receiver coming across to create more picks for him. Wide open catch, turn up field. Nice play concept, nice catch, nice execution. This is the same drive. Uh, the Packers have taken the ball all the way down to the six yard line. It's third and two. They're still down. 14-3 uh, to three in the second quarter, and this is just a nice play concept against the coverage that the Lions are playing. They're, they're playing sort of a half-man, half-zone, sort of a match-up zone concept. You have a safety here. You have a safety here. The underneath defenders are all matched up on their guys. There's a three-by-one set with the tight end at the top of the screen. You got three receivers and a bunch at the bottom of the screen. You got the running back favoring the three-receiver side. So essentially, it's a four-on-one, a four-by-one concept. Um, these interior defenders, underneath defenders, are all matched up with the point of the bunch right here. These receivers are going to release more vertical. The inside guy is going to favor the inside. The point of the bunch is going to get more vertical. The outside receiver is going to release outside. They're going to create a traffic jam for this defender who has the back man-to-man. -man. At the snap of the ball, these guys are going to release. The running back is going to run to the flat and force this defender to negotiate the vertical releases of the receivers and, and get him caught up and spring the running back loose in the flat. The ball snapped, and there is the defender right there, trapped, caught up in this release. The back is wide open in the flat. Aaron Rodgers already has the ball out of his hands. When he sees it, catch, turn up field, in the end zone, touchdown, nice play concept. Okay, this is the first play of the third quarter. The Packers are ahead 17 to 14. First and 10 ball on the 25. This is just a nice executed run play. They start out in an empty set and they motion down into a uh, one back set. And just an easy handoff up the middle, block very well. The running back makes the safeties miss, take it all the way down for a touchdown, 75 yards. We'll look at the back end and see what happened on it. Again, they, they, mo they motioned back in from the empty alignment, and now they're running a basic running play. Um, <clears throat> it's a basic handoff by the quarterback to the back, up the middle, through the A-gap. The right side of the line, they're blocking. 
to their right. You got the tackle on the outside linebacker defensive end. You got the right guard on the three technique. You got the center stepping to his right side, right A gap, and climbing to this linebacker. You got a scoop block on this backside up to the linebacker. The two tight ends are scooping the defensive end up to the secondary player right here. What happens is, is these safeties, instead of one filling the run and the other one playing more over the top, they both play up the field, and then their angles are off after the running back breaks the line of scrimmage. They, they're, they're in a bad position to take a good, a good angle to cut them off, and he's able to beat them to the spot and take it all the way. There's the snap. Okay, we got a nice scoop block here. We got a nice scoop block on the back side. Tight end comes off for this secondary player right here. And again, you'll see that the safeties have attacked the line too much. No one's playing more over the top, and their angles are all off. And that allows the running back to split the seam, defeat the tackles, and take it all the way for a touchdown. Okay, here we go. It's 24-14. The Packers are up by 10 after the long run for a touchdown in the first play of the third quarter. It's first and 10. Ball's on the five. The lines are, are, are backed up. And this is just a nice instinctive play by the corner, Shandon Sullivan, right here, number 39. What... The Lions are going to do, they're going to motion this receiver over into a bunch alignment. They're going to try to create a bunch alignment. But the Packers are going to play cover three zone. They're not playing man, they're playing cover three zone. This is a basic uh, concept. They call it a star pass. you got the point of the bunch running a corner. you got the outside guy hooking up. And then you're going to motion this receiver across to the inside edge of the bunch, and he's going to run into the flat. This corner does a nice job. He has flat responsibility. He plays it patiently. He settles, he settles. He reads the quarterback's eyes. When he starts to throw to the flat, he widens, and then he breaks on the ball, cuts underneath it, and makes a nice play. There's the snap. He's feathering. And then as the quarterback's releasing the ball, you see the break. The receiver's running this way. The defender's running that way. He's able to undercut it make the catch, get the ball in the end zone, nice play, touchdown to break the game wide open. Okay, it's 34-14 after the pick six for a touchdown. It's in the fourth quarter. The Lions are driving. They're trying to get themselves back into it. This is just a nice way to attack the Packers' coverage down the field. What we got going here is the Packers are going to play what we call quarter-quarter half. So they're going to play cover two at the top of the screen. They're going to play a quarters concept at the bottom of the screen. And what, what the Lions are doing is they're going to take this tight end, they're going to release him up the field and break him out. That's going to drag this corner with him. It's going to take him out of his, this deep end responsibility. They're going to run the back end of the flat, so this linebacker is going to run with him. They're going to run the number three receiver at the top of the screen on a shallow cross, and that's going to have this linebacker run with him. They're going to take the number three receiver. They're going to push up at this safety. you got a speed and athletic mismatch right here. He's going to push up at this safety. He's going to cross his face, and there should be a nice hole right here uh, at the bottom of the screen with this corner out of it because he's matching up with the tight end and Stafford does a nice job putting the ball out there it's a nice play nice concept and there it is this corner is going to match up with this tight end you got the linebacker on the shallow cross you got this flat defender on the on the back in the flat now you have the number three receiver he's going to run up on the safety and cross right over in here, and the ball is going to be put over this corner's head. And there it is. There's the opening. There's an athletic and speed mismatch right here. This corner is neutralized by the tight end. The ball is put out there. Nice catch, nice throw, touchdown. We'll take a look at the Saints right now. We'll start with their defense. 
They're playing the Raiders first quarter, second and 10, ball on the minus 39 yard line. What's happening here is the Raiders run their tight end across in motion, but nobody runs with him. That You run people in motion across the formation to give the quarterback an indication whether it's man or zone. But nobody runs with him. In fact, Malcolm Jenkins, the safety, steps up at the end of the line of scrimmage. They bring the receiver back across, and the corner runs with him. So there is a man concept being played, but no one ran with the tight end, which gives you an indication that this safety may be coming off the edge. The ball snapped. You got safety blitz off the left side. He beats the tackle, gets the sack. We'll look at the back end. Yeah, and there's the motion. No one runs with him. Now the motion of the receiver with the corner going with him. And then what's going on is they walk this safety up at the end of the line of scrimmage. He's coming off the edge. That forces a four-man slide to kick all the way out to him. It's a long way to go for the tackle, long way to go for the left guard, long way to go for the center. And again, this is the decent way to go for the right guard. And again, you, and, and you're vulnerable in here with a one-on-one -on -one pass rush situation. The ball snapped, and again, the tackle can't get there. Nice dip of the shoulder by number 27, Jenkins. Closes on the quarterback, makes the sack. Nice defensive play by the Take a look at the Saints offense. They're up 3 to nothing in the first quarter. 7.05 left. This is just a nice play call. Um, nice running play to Alvin Kamara. They go shift to tight end. They motion the receiver across. They just give him the ball up the middle. He bounces outside, cuts it all the way back. It's a nice run. We'll take a look at the back end. We'll look at the blocking scheme. So there's the shift of the tight end. He settles down. Okay, the motion of the receiver all the way across. <clears throat> This dime linebacker in the box, when, he, when the receiver motions across, he's going to take himself out of the box. This linebacker is going to shift over to more in the middle of the alignment, and then this safety is going to be down here. All they're doing is the right guard and right tackle, they're kicking out on the three technique in the defensive end. The left guard and the center are going to scoop up for this linebacker. The tight end and the left tackle are going to scoop this defensive end up to this safety down in the box. When he shows his face into this A-gap, the right, left tackle does a nice job coming off, sealing that, and then Kamara, he takes the ball downhill. When this whole thing collapses down because the tight end seals this, he takes it outside in almost into this D-gap, and then Cuts it all the way back for a big gain. There's 25 hitting that big gap. The right the left tackle comes off, seals that. The tight end seals the defensive end. He should be holding support more. The ball bounces outside and then cuts all the way back. And there's his athletic ability taking over and making a nice gain. Here we go, 10 to 7, second quarter, 802 left, first and 10, ball at midfield, 50 yard line. This is just a staple play by the New Orleans Saints that they've been running for years. What they're doing is they're motioning. This is Alvin Kamara running back out in the in a stack alignment. He's going to motion all the way across. No one runs with him. Again, as we as we discussed earlier, when the motion goes and the secondary guy comes down to that line of scrimmage, it's a huge indication that they're going to blitz off that side. When he motions across, the way they deal with the motion is they rotate the secondary down. This safety comes down here. The, the bottom safety works to the middle of the field. They're going to play three behind it, and the Saints are just going to dial up a cover three beater. Motion across. There's the rotation down. And then there's the secondary guy walking to the end of the line of scrimmage. He's going to come off the edge. And what's going to be run 
<clears throat> the X receiver, he's going to run a deep post. And what that does is that controls the corner. That also controls this safety. They're going to take Kamara, and he's going to run a drive concept to try to control the underneath coverage. There should be a nice throwing lane right in here. The number two receiver is going to push up. He's going to work 18 to 22 yards to the numbers over here, to that opening that's voided by the post and the shallow cross. And they should throw the offensive line does a nice job kicking out to this secondary blitz, controlling that and giving Breeze a chance to throw the ball. Step, steps up, and there it is. The underneath coverage is controlled by the shallow cross. The corner, the safety are controlled by the post. There's a wide open area right in here. Breezes already has the ball in the air as the hole is opening up. Catch, turn up field, make a guy miss. Nice play. Here we go. This is the same drive. The Saints are ahead 10 to 7, second quarter, first and 10, ball in the 25. They're on the fringe of the red zone. Uh, this is just a nice play concept that the Saints have been running for years. The Raiders. They're playing what we call three match. It's a cover three concept with the corners matched up, playing more of a man technique versus versus their coverage responsibility. And the Saints just attack them. What they're going to do is they're going to run this X receiver on a deep in. They're going to take this outside receiver, the outside tight end. He's going to release outside and run a vertical route to take his man out of there. They're going to run the interior tight end. They're going to the three tight end set, the interior tight end on a shallow cross, and this number two tight end, he's going to push up, and he's going to run a corner out, and they're going to send the back out on a swing to control the underneath coverage. So you have this receiver, this tight end, controlling the deep coverage, this back controlling the underneath coverage, and they're going to slip this tight end in on a seven route in between the high and low coverage. The ball snapped. And again, this is Tyson Hill, a tight end, a quarterback, whatever you want to call him. He's taking this coverage deep. The swing of the back is controlling the flat defender out here. And there's a nice opening right there. The corner does a nice job reading and come back and making a tackle. But it's a nice throw, nice catch, nice play concept. Okay, after the Saints scored 17-7, second quarter, they're on the two-minute drive. The Raiders are. It's third and nine. Ball on the 15. They're in the red zone. This is just a simple play concept versus cover two. And what's happening is they're playing cover two. They're trying to disguise it, which sometimes gets you into trouble. you got a safety down here. He's showing more of a cover three look. He's going to bounce out play two. You got this safety right here as opposed to playing over the top of these coverage. He tries to disguise it like he's going to the middle of the field and then work out for his cover two responsibility, which causes a problem here. They run what we call a smash concept down here to the three receiver side, two hitches, and you got a corner uh, by the number three receiver. Same kind of concept in the stack alignment. The interior receiver is going to push up. He's going to run a corner. The outside receiver, he's going to get behind him and work through this receiver's wake of his release and then hook up to control the underneath defender. And this safety, who works more to the middle of the field to disguise it and then, then comes over here for his cover two responsibility, is late. So see, he's working to the middle, but he really has cover two, which means he's got to be on top of these two receivers. So he's trying to disguise it. And at the snap of the ball, they run out. He's going to play more of a, ha a half concept, and this safety has to get over the top. But he's late. There's the break to the out. He's one or two steps late. The ball's already being thrown to that opening. Nice catch, nice completion, touchdown. Here we go. It's 17 to 14. Saints are driving on a two-minute drive right at the end of the first half. This is just a, a mistake by Drew Brees that he, that he can't make. What the Raiders are playing, the Raiders are going to play cover three, and they're going to match 
in man-to-man -man coverage, the X receiver, but everyone else is going to be playing a cover three concept. He's got the deep third. He's got the middle third. You know, we got a match concept here, and you got the four underneath defenders. You know, he's got curl to flat. He's got hook to curl. He's got weak hook to curl. He's got curl to flat. And what the Saints are going to run is they're going to run the number three receiver on a race route all the way across the field. They got a delay route by the number one receiver, and they're going to run a, a four route by the number two receiver. Breeze probably expected this defender to run with and get cleared out by this race route. But he runs with them, and then he settles, and he gets in front of this four route. So at the snap of the ball, okay, Breeze is thinking that this guy may be influenced by this race route. But this safety right here, this down safety, he's going to end up running with this race route, freeing him up to get underneath this, this four route by the number two receiver. Breeze tries to put it on him, hits it right into the linebacker's hands for an interception late in the half, which he can't do. Here we go, 17-all. Uh, Raiders have the ball. It's the third quarter, start of the third quarter, second and 10. Ball in the plus 38. This is just a nice play concept, attacking the man-to-man -man coverage. They motion the tight end across. The secondary rotates down, and this safety is going to cover the tight end man-to-man. -man. They see press on the outside. Carr recognizes man-to-man -man coverage. He checks. He's making a check right now. And what they're doing is they're, they're just running verticals, but they have an exchange release trying to create picks. They do it down here. You got the outside, re got outside receiver releasing inside up the seam. You got the inside rec receiver coming right off of his butt down the sideline. Same thing up top. Outside receivers releasing inside. The tight end's going to release outside, try to create a pick to get down the rail. The ball snap. There's the pick concept right there. Just enough to get this defender to shuffle his feet, get him off of his track, and give the tight end a chance to get a step on the defender. There's the step. The ball's put out there. Nice catch. Nice throw. Nice play by the Raiders. Late in the third quarter, the Raiders are ahead 24 to 17. They have the ball on their own 31 yard line. It's second and five. The Saints need a big play on defense to slow them down, get the ball back. And the Raiders are just, they're checking to a run right here. And, you know, we need someone to step up and make a play. And there's a hit in the backfield. We'll see what happened on the back end. What the Saints are doing is they're going to try to disrupt the run by, they're going to try to slant to the tight end side, two tight end side, they're going to try to slant the three technique and the defensive end. They got a secondary player at the end of the line of scrimmage. And it gets the Raiders off their track. All they're running is a simple zone scheme. Outside zone, you got the wing tight end out on the secondary player. This tight end and the left tackle should scoop this defensive end up to this linebacker. You got the center and the left guard doing the same thing with the three technique up to this linebacker. You got a cutoff block by the right guard. What happens is when this defensive end slants inside both the tight end and the left tackle, they take too wide of a path. You got the guard right here on the three technique so there's a nice lane right here that's created by the left tackle's wide path, and he penetrates and blows up the run. Snap of the ball. 74 went too wide with the slant of the defensive end. Again, the left guard is down on his man, and then that gives the defensive end free reign to go in there and hit the running back for a loss. 
This is the same drive. Raiders leading 24-17 in the third quarter. It's second and 15. And what's the mindset in second and 15? You want to get half of it back to give yourself a manageable uh, third down situation. So they're shifting the tight end. They're motioning them. They bring them all the way back. Uh, they're, they're in a gun alignment. And they just run a simple trap up the middle to get 15 yards. It's a nice play concept. This is a play concept that's been around since the start of time. Again, there's the motion. You can come all the way back. And all they're going to do is run a simple trap. The Saints are in a pass rush mode because it's second and long, so they're going to be rushing up the field. They're not necessarily expecting a run play in this situation, and all they do is run a trap. The left tackle blocks out on the defensive end. The center comes down to the weak A gap and to control this linebacker, and then he works to the second level. You got the right guard down on the nose tackle. You have this right tackle. He's going to flash the defensive end and come down on the linebacker. The tight end's going to release out on the safety, and you're going to use this guard. He's going to take a step, and then he's going to trap this defensive end who's being influenced by the right tackle and the release of the tight end. And with this solidified in here with all these down blocks and the kick out block or the trap block by the guard, there's a nice running lane right through the B gap. And there it is. There's the kick out block, down block, down block, kick out block. There's a nice running lane right in there. The back hits it through there. He should secure the ball better, but again, nice run uh, to overcome the second and 15. Okay, we're now in the fourth quarter with 10.04 left in the game. Raiders are still ahead 24-17. They're driving at second and 10. Ball on the 49. And what the Saints are going to do is they're going to run sort of a two-man concept versus the Raiders. Raiders in a two-by-two -two set. They got a stack alignment up top. They got a tight end and a cut down split receiver uh, down below. Again, we got man coverage, man coverage. We got this safety up in the line of scrimmage and man coverage. We got the corner man coverage at the <clears throat> on the outside receiver. These two linebackers are going to be responsible for the release of the back. You got the safeties. They're going to play split safety and cover two. And all the Raiders are doing is they're, again, you play man coverage, expect a lot of picks and rub routes. The point of the stack, he's going to release outside, push up, and run a deep in route. The stacked receiver, he's going to follow the release of the inside receiver up, and then he's going to break in, run right off of his hip, create a rub concept with these defenders, and spring himself free. Again, vertical release, push up, he's breaking inside. Again, this type of traffic causes the man covering this receiver to change his, his foot, to change his stride just enough to spring him free. There's no one in the middle of the field because it's two man. Wide open, catch, run. Again, you got to secure the ball at the end of the run. Okay, same drive. Raiders still up 24-17 midway through the fourth quarter. They got a third and 10 now, but the ball's on the plus 20, so they are in field goal range. They don't want to take too many chances here. This is just a nice play call, nice execution. They motion the tight, o tight end over to form a bunch alignment, and all they do is run sort of a toss-crack action. The ball gets outside. The back makes a nice cut, breaks a tackle into the end zone will break down the blocking scheme on the back end of the play. Here we go. The tight end is going to motion over after the back resets. He motions across. He's going to set right here. At the snap of the ball, the tight ends are going to work back this way to try to control the coverage. you got two receivers here and a bunch alignment. The point of the bunch, he's going to crack this defensive end, he cannot allow penetration up the field. He's got to step down hard and crack him. The outside receiver in the bunch 
He's got to come down hard, and he's got to block this safety right here. They're going to pull the right tackle out around. If we got this solidified and, and the safety solidified, he should be able to get her out around and block the first support player. Everyone else is reaching the play side gap. They're just going to toss it outside uh, to the running back. There's the motion across into the bunch. The ball snapped. Again, there's the down block. You got the receiver climbing for 27, the safety. You got the right guard climbing. You got the center and the left guard. They're scooping to this linebacker. Again, ball's out in front. Again, this right tackle is going to block the first support player. We got solidified. Everything solidified inside. You got the right guard. He's pulling to the second level as well. The ball's cut up inside. A nice block by the guard. Makes the guy miss into the end zone. Touchdown.